Alrighty, so we have our conspiracy theories back. Uh, we did this last winter, and of course it is coming back for this winter, and boy do we have a whole nother round of conspiracy theories. And in today's video, we're going to start something that is something kind of like a conspiracy theory, but more so just rumors. Um, which coaster is the next one to be removed from Canada's Wonderland? So for those of you that don't know, um, Canada's Wonderland is pretty landlocked. So whenever they're going to build a new coaster or thinking about building a new coaster, removing an older attraction has to come to mind. Um, they removed Skyrider to make way for Yukon Striker, and I'm sure we'll see down the line another coaster removal to make way for another coaster. Um, it is also in the Cedar Fair kind of mentality to remove older attractions that are costing them money, uh, more money than what they are producing in terms of ridership numbers. Um, so you're going to see attractions being removed from parks all around the chain. We're seeing it with Vortex at Kings Island, and we're going to continue to see it with flat rides and other attractions as well. So I'm going to go through the list of least likely to most likely to be removed next. So I'm going to start off the list with Vortex at Canada's Wonderland. Vortex at Canada's Wonderland is a suspended swinging coaster that goes over the mountain and then down into a ravine type little pond and works its way back to the station. It's a really thrilling family coaster. And to be honest, I absolutely love it, especially in the fall. If you haven't ridden it, you got to go to Canada's Wonderland this weekend and get a night ride on Vortex. It's absolutely insane. The thing sounds like it's falling apart, that it's all over the place. Uh, just it's crazy. Like it's one of my favorite rides at the park, obviously underneath the three B&Ms. Um, so it would be extremely sad to see it go. I also don't think it's going to go. The park has commented many times that they are trying to keep that coaster alive as long as possible. And we've also heard them comment on how it's a juggernaut in terms of maintenance. So it actually doesn't cost as much considering parts aren't even made for the coaster anymore as it was manufactured by Aero. Um, who is now no longer in business. But Canada's Wonderland, from what I understand, so again, all of this information I'm presenting um, is uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, <laughs> so it's allegedly they manufacture their own parts um, and have the track redone themselves, thus keeping it alive much longer. So another coaster um, after Vortex that I think is least likely to be removed um, is going to be Flight Deck. Um, I said that because I want Flight Deck removed so badly, um, but after the ACE event this year, again, allegedly the park has said that they have no um, intentions of removing Flight Deck anytime soon from the coaster lineup at Canada's Wonderland, um, so that is quite um, sad. Again, the park is never really going to come out and say like, oh, we're going to remove this attraction in five years. You're never going to hear a park say that even at an ACE event or to an enthusiast that they value. It's just, you're never gonna hear those rumors come out before they're removed. And it looks like Cedar Fair is really good at keeping things hush hush now. Things seem to be announced very last minute. Oh, this is gonna be removed. And everyone's like, whoa, um, how did that happen? So again, I'm gonna put Flight Deck at number, um, the second least likely, just because I, to be honest, I don't see us getting an invert anytime soon. And to remove Flight Deck, I would assume that an invert is in the lineup. Flight Deck is doing its job, even though I absolutely hate it and a lot of other people absolutely hate it. And I'm going to be honest, GP hate it, too. Um, so I am like I do think it's on the list of potential removals in the next 10 years, but I don't think it's anytime soon. I really wish the park would uh, kind of reevaluate this. It is not a comfortable ride whatsoever. So I have no idea what the park is thinking when they say that this isn't on the lineup of attractions to be removed but that also could be saying that there's just attractions in other areas of the park that they're looking to build and flight deck it doesn't fit into that equation anywhere and that could be why it's not going to be removed either um coming up third least likely oh man this is getting difficult i'm gonna say oh mind buster man mind buster for me is like one of those attractions that i think is pretty likely to leave for several reasons but I, again i'm gonna have to put it at number third here just based off of things that I'm hearing from within the park, allegedly. Um, so, oh, this is really difficult for me because Mindbuster was something that I honestly thought was leaving the park pretty soon. But so Mindbuster is, sits on a plot of land that is in Splashworks. And I honestly thought Wonderland was going to eventually get a giant Splashworks expansion, just like its sister parks in the chain. 
But based off of what we're hearing um, from within the park, allegedly, uh, Splash Rex expansion isn't going to be happening at Canada's Wonderland. Um, they're a little afraid to invest in the water park at Canada's Wonderland. They don't want to draw away from the dry park um, audience as they make a lot of money from the dry park and they don't make much money in the water park. Not a lot of people are buying food like they are in the dry park. Um, there isn't a lot of merch. There isn't a lot of games. There isn't a lot of revenue to be made in the water park. So they're very content with what they have in the water park currently. They think that it offers something for the guests to go do at some part in their day, but they don't want it to be a full day visit in the water park. They'd rather the guests move back into the dry park um, for at some point in, during their stay at Canada's Wonderland. Thus meaning that a water park expansion isn't really likely and removing Mindbuster or renovating Mindbuster isn't really a necessity anytime soon. So that's a project that can come much later down the line and they'll just continue to redo parts and portions of Mindbuster to keep it a comfortable ride. To be honest, I'm okay with that because Mindbuster is one of my favorite rides this year in terms of especially night rides. It's just a really fun ride. I hated it before. For some reason, I've loved it this season. So I'm pretty content with that, though. Um, but again, I definitely did think that Mindbuster was higher on the list of ride removals. Whew, okay, this is getting even more difficult. Uh, I guess coming in at third most likely is Time Warp. Um, Time Warp, the only reason that I think this ride might be removed is for another park. I think Cedar Fair needs to start investing in some of their smaller parks, and this is an attraction that I could see working at a smaller park extremely well. Now, the only problem is this does have pretty decent capacity from what I understand. Feel free to correct me down below. Um, but I think it has pretty good capacity. It does fit in this very tiny plot of land very well. Um, but maybe in terms of five years from now, when they're looking at a smaller park and, you know, the 10 years flight deck may be being removed and they're looking at this plot of land. So we might see this attraction go much sooner than flight deck if they're going to put a B&M coaster back here because of one of the smaller parks in the chain. Again, it tackles two birds with one stone remove time warp ahead of plan for the flight deck removal and send this to a smaller park, give them a coaster. And uh, yeah, you've solved two problems. You're giving a smaller park a coaster and you're getting ready for a Canada's Wonderland coaster down the line. So I definitely do think that this is a possibility we could see time warp go at some point. Now coming in at second most likely is definitely Wild Beast. Um, there's a reason Wild Beast is second most likely. It's a difficult thing for me to say. I used to think that Wild Beast was never going to be on the chopping block um, for a couple of reasons. It has been completely renovated. It's got all new wood almost on the entire structure. They've only got a little bit left to go. They redid the lift hill. Um, it just doesn't really make sense as to why they would redo so much. We have seen that in the past at Cedar Fair before, so I wouldn't be too shocked to see a wooden coaster completely be retracted and then, you know, torn down a couple years from now. Um, and the go-kart. So Wild Beast sits on a plot of land that could be extremely usable um, for a ground-up RMC. A ground-up RMC would look amazing in Canada's Wonderland skyline, and based off of, again, allegedly, at the ACE event this year, um, the park has said that they would not renovate a current wooden coaster into an RMC. If they were to get an RMC, again, if, it would be ground-up, um, which is great news for us enthusiasts because the ground-up RMCs, especially the lift hill structure, look absolutely gorgeous, and that in the skyline would be insane. Um, so I definitely think Wild Beasts with the go-karts plot of land would fit a ground-up RMC extremely well, especially with Dinosaurs Alive now being somewhat available. You could use a portion of that land if you wanted. you got a massive plot of land for a coaster right there. So I definitely think Wild Beast is the second most likely coaster to be um, removed for a future expansion. I definitely think... Um, Next to Frontier Canada, Medfair is going to receive a lot more investments as well. And then eventually Action Zone being turned back into its old glory. Now, the most likely coaster to be removed from Wonderland comes at a difficult decision. Um, to be honest, I'm going to make fun of myself here. And all the enthusiasts, you can laugh at me in the comment section below. I did not know. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, I'm a GP. I'm GP. I'm definitely GP. I can admit that. Um, I know business and I love the business side of theme parks. And I'm a theme park enthusiast, not a roller coaster enthusiast. So I did not know Dragonfire was Arrow until recently. 
Once I learned that it's Arrow and that Arrow no longer builds parts and that we're seeing Cedar Fair kind of discontinue Arrows like Vortex at King's Island, um, I could definitely see something like Dragonfire being removed for, for example, a mock double launch in Medfair if they're to go down that route. Or they could start the ground up RMC in that area and have its work its way into the go-kart section if they maybe don't remove Wild Beast. It could go two different ways. Um, but I definitely think that with it being an arrow and um, its location, it's a key and it uses up so little of the land that it sits on. It just makes sense that they would remove Dragonfire for a future attraction. Now, the only problem is Dragonfire, from what I understand, has next to no downtime. It also um, sits in a very important plot of land. Again, it's, it's just so many different reasons could go either way of why they wouldn't remove it and why they should remove it. Again, it's an arrow, but to be honest, when I ride it, it's not that uncomfortable. I hate Flight Deck way more than I hate Dragonfire, but I just am hearing rumblings that, you know, Dragonfire is on the top of the list. The ridership numbers are declining exponentially on the ride, and the park is maybe eyeing that for a future ride removal. I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below what you think is the next coaster to be removed from Canada's Wonderland. Definitely comment down below what you think is going to be removed. Do you agree or disagree with any of the coaster rankings? Maybe even rank the coasters that I have in this video from most likely to least likely to be removed. Comment down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. There are more um, conspiracy theories for the theme park world coming out soon. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.